Have you or a loved one ever been walking around and needed or felt like you needed to sit down? Or maybe you're at the grocery store and in order to walk around the grocery store, you have to lean forward on the grocery cart. Or maybe you can ride a bike for a considerable length of time, but you can't stand or walk very long. These are all symptoms of lumbar spinal stenosis that leads to a condition called neurogenic claudication. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what that is and how it is treated. In the spinal canal, we have the spinal cord in the neck and in the thoracic spine. And then down in the low back, uh, a continuation of the spinal cord is the nerve roots in the low back. And the spinal canal can get narrowed over time with different conditions, mostly degenerative problems like the disc bulges, and that takes a little space away. Or maybe the disc slips and some space is lost. The ligament that's in the spinal canal called the ligament and flavum can thicken. These, these things can lead to pinching off of the nerves in the low back. That can cause heaviness in the legs, pain down the legs, numbness, and it's especially bad in patients with neurogenic claudication when they're standing, especially standing upright or walking. Patients will find, on the other hand, if they lean forward, it's a little bit better. And it's because the ligament in the spine is put on stretch when we lean forward. So the symptoms are better if they lean over on a shopping cart or if they're riding a bike. Lumbar spinal stenosis and neurogenic claudication are very, very common, especially as we get older. Treatments include chiropractic care, physical therapy, and pain management. And in some cases, we'll go and do surgery to decompress the nerves in the low back. And that can either be a simple decompression called a laminectomy, or we could do a laminectomy and a fusion, depending on the type of pathology. Lumbar spinal stenosis is a condition that uh, can prevent people from doing the things they love to do, such as walking and being active. And they may limit their activities because they're afraid or they feel unable to go out and do things due to the stenosis. If you or a loved one have some of these symptoms, seek evaluation because I think it's a condition that patients can have good results with medical treatment.